Hello lovelies, how are you doing once again? Welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, you're highly welcome. And if you're an old subscriber, thank you for stopping by. Today, I want to discuss with you how you can deal with rejection. A lot of people are facing rejection and it can be very crazy. If you don't know how to handle it, it can really pull you down and make you to feel isolated. So I want to share some tips with you on how you can deal with rejection and come out strongly. Firstly, you have to understand the reason why you were rejected. Okay? You cannot deal with something that you don't really understand. You need to understand why you are rejected, especially when it is frequent. Okay? When you experience rejection frequently, you have to ask yourself some questions like, why am I always rejected? You know, does it happen to other people or is it just me? For instance, it can be your character, you know, it can be your attitude towards people. It can be the way you look, the way you dress. It can be anything, but you just have to find out, you have to pin it to something. So, get to know why you were rejected. You must have found out why you were rejected. I know it's going to be a very difficult and painful situation for you. The second thing you have to do is to process the emotion. You have to take your time to process the emotions. I understand that it can be a very nerve-wracking situation. So you need to process that emotion, that negative energy. You have to really purge it out in order for you to forge ahead. After you must have processed the emotions, you must have dealt with the bad and negative energies, the next thing you have to do will be self-affirmation. You have to start telling yourself some good words like, I am beautiful, I am worthy, I am acceptable. You have to start affirming some positive words, all right? When people reject you, you don't have to reject yourself. When people say they don't like you, you don't have to hate yourself. When they say you're ugly, you have to remind yourself that you're beautiful, no matter what. That you are worthy enough. That you are worth something. That you can do whatever they say you cannot do. You have to always affirm that. Reaffirm and affirm. Always remind yourself that you are important, that you are something, you are somebody. No matter what they say about you, that you are worthy. Well, after you must have done that and you feel you cannot really contain it all by yourself, cannot handle it all by yourself, the next suggestion I will have to give to you at this point is talk to somebody. It can be anybody. It can be a counselor. If you can afford a counselor, you can talk to a counselor. You can talk to a therapist. Okay. But if you cannot afford that at the moment, you can talk to a friend, somebody that you can trust. It can be a family member, but just talk to somebody about it. I believe they will give you some good words that will help to uplift your spirit. We all understand that emotions is something that can be very difficult to deal with. So after you must have spoken to a counselor or a friend or any other person that you can speak to and you still feel like you cannot really handle what has been thrown at you, I think at this point the best thing you have to do is change your environment. By changing your environment, you get to meet new people probably you will feel better at the end of the day. So if your environment is still reminding you of the people that rejected you or why you were rejected, I think changing that environment for at least a period of time can help you to really bounce back, okay? And after you must have done this, the next thing you have to do is getting busy with something. When you are not busy, you get to think about irrelevant things that will keep weighing you down. So you need to get busy with something. It can be your education, it can be business, it can be physical activities, something that can take your mind away from what people have said about you or how people have treated you. Just start doing it. Whatever that suits you, whatever that makes you happy, whatever that can draw your attention away from what you are facing at the moment, just get busy with it. The 
first thing you have to do is focus in rebuilding yourself. All the things that made people reject you, whatever it is, if it's your character or your behavior or the way you speak or the way you dress, whatever it is that made whoever to reject you, you need to start rebuilding it. Wherever it takes you, no matter the time it will take you to build it up, just build it up. If it's how to dress, for instance, you can look for someone that is good in fashion. If it's the way you talk, for instance, and you don't know how to talk, let's say you are very saucy, and because of that, nobody wants to have anything to do with you. You have to start learning how to talk with grace, okay? Learn how to talk, learn how to carry yourself, learn how to have a good charisma so that people can have reasons to want to have something to do with you must have rebuilt yourself what you have to do next is becoming successful in the area you were rejected okay there is nothing more beautiful than becoming successful in the area you were rejected okay if you are rejected because you don't know how to dress learn how to be classy learn how to dress smart if it's the way you speak just learn how to speak if you have to read more books to learn how to speak if you have to sign up for a class to learn how to speak whatever you have to do to learn how to speak just do it and become more of a success in that area in that way you will become more attractive and people will want to be with you and definitely nobody will reject you last but not the least is be nice to yourself okay no matter what they have said about you it doesn't really matter what people say you are the one that will validate yourself whatever they say or do and whoever that must have rejected you doesn't really matter just be nice to yourself treat yourself with grace carry yourself with dignity encourage yourself okay and just generally be nice to yourself tell yourself some good words and i believe you will be all right if you do all this definitely definitely you will be able to deal with rejection smartly and hopefully you won't be rejected next time let me know how these tips have helped you if you have other suggestions, I would like to know. Put it down in the comment section. Until next time, thank you for watching.